Hello and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm out in the city trying to get some cool night photos on some Cine Still 800T. I brought both the Hasselblad and the Fujifilm G617 with me and the two rolls of Cine Still. So far you might have seen a couple of pictures. I've walked around the city a little bit. I headed a little bit towards the valley but then got rained on. Headed back towards the city after it stopped. Walked across the bridge to South Bank area, not quite right into South Bank, then a little towards West End and didn't shoot any pictures. I'm heading back towards Milton at the moment, just across the go-between bridge. And I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to get some photos around Milton, maybe at Suncorp Stadium, and then on the way back to Tuong as I head home. So I've taken, I think so far, two shots on the Hasselblad and two shots on the G617. That puts me halfway through the roll on the G617, but nowhere near it on the Hasselblad. So we'll just keep going and I'll see what I find. But I just wanted to check in and let you know what I'm up to. So I've framed up a shot looking down along the road here, which is Milton Road, right at the 4X Brewery, which is a, uh, for those who aren't from Australia, 4X is a huge beer company that make generally really bad beer, but it's uh, kind of iconic here, so it could be a cool photograph. There's also a petrol station, or as any of my American viewers may know it, a gas station in the shot, and do you, do you even cine still if you don't shoot petrol stations? Unfortunately, there is a large power pole that kind of gets in the way, but I can't do anything about it. Now I'm metering at 800, not, I, even though cine still is technically a 500 speed film, you should still, if you're developing in C41, you should still meter at 800. So I'm metering for 800, not in the darkest, darkest shadows, but not, but at a sort of a mid to dark area of the scene because you get a lot of halation as it is with the cine still so i want the highlights to look nice but not too blown so i'm about to take the shot i'm going to do i metered for just shy of four seconds so adding about half a stop extra for reciprocity failure which is kind of in the ballpark for cine still i'm going to be doing six seconds and i might just wait till i've got a few cars so that i can get a bit of light streaking as well and then I'll take this shot. So I've got a couple of cars going through. Not as many as I would have liked, but it is quite late at night. So hopefully that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to pack up the camera and head towards Suncorp Stadium, just over here.
Hello, so it's a different night obviously. It's now two nights after you last saw me and I'm trying to finish off that film. On the Friday night I got rained out by some pretty heavy rain so I had to call it quits and head home. So I'm back in the city. This time I'm at the Botanic Gardens and near the University of Technology. There's a bit of a light based art exhibition on here at the Botanic Gardens. I'm just going to see if I can take some pictures. I'm pretty keen to try and get a few more photos. I may not be able to do too much vlogging because there are a few people around, but we'll just see how we go. Talk to you soon. So I just grabbed a picture of that really cool artwork, which was uh, actually spinning LED lights like on a fan to make those really cool digital sculptures. So hopefully that turns out really well. That was um, with the Cine still at uh, three seconds at f5.6 with the Hasselblad 150mm. I'm still just wandering around the gardens a little bit, so just stick with me and we'll see what we can find. So I just grabbed what I hope will be a really cool shot of this cool installation of a mini story bridge in the little lake here in the gardens. I'll just show you the installation and then you can see the photo. Well, I took three photos there at the art exhibition in the Botanic Gardens. Getting close to finishing my role of Cine still in the Hasselblad and I've got two shots left in the G617 as well so we'll see how we go. So now I'm a bit closer to home. I'm just in Tuong. I've got a couple of frames left and I think I might have a couple of compositions in mind. I did just stop in the valley or Fortitude Valley for those of you not from the Brisbane area to grab a couple of shots. I took two shots with the Hasselblad of a couple of cool neon signs, one of a restaurant and one of a brewery. So hopefully they look pretty cool. Now I'm just going to have a quick look here and see what I can find. Oh, you're all right, no problem. Okay, so I've just very awkwardly <laughs> framed up a shot on this panorama camera and it will be the last shot of this roll for this one. So hopefully it's kind of cool. Just like an empty car park with a couple of signs and a bit of rubbish and a staircase. Nothing outstanding, but I think there's some, some cool artificial light behind it and a fair bit of shadow around that. Hopefully it might look pretty cool. So I just gotta grab a meter reading. Just been using my phone for metering for this roll. I think it's easier than the spot meter in this kind of light. 
We'll just meet if it's somewhere pretty dark, but not necessarily the darkest shadow. At ISO 800, I might stop down to F32, just to give me a little bit more depth of field. That gives us everything from three meters. So it'll be one minute at F32, taking into account reciprocity. So that's three minute exposure. So I will, or well, 204 seconds, which is, what was that? Three minutes and 24 seconds. So I won't record that whole exposure. So I'll just turn you off now and I'll take this photo. So I'm in that same empty car park. I just shot from the outside with the panorama camera now for my last shot on the Hasselblad. Just framing up, there's a bit of a trailer in the corner and a car just here with some fluorescent lights and some concrete poles. So I'm just framing that up now. Just want to check focus. There we go, F22, 24 seconds. And I just need to grab my cable release. put this in very gently okay 24 seconds here we go Okay, well that's my nighttime cine still shoot over two different nights finished just for something a little bit different. I promise you I'll be back to shooting my regular landscapes as soon as I can. But I do hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, leave some comments, ask any questions, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. And thanks again, I'll see you soon.